Hey everybody, the Bong is back. Let's play Legend of Zelda Link to the Past Part 13. We saw the last video, I just grabbed the hook shot, so now let's go to this door and continue the second dungeon. Let us keep going. Uh, okay, maybe I'm not supposed to go that way. Okay, what else am I supposed to do here again? I'm trying to remember. I think that's something to do. Ah, damn it. These doors. Okay, fine. Be that way. Okay, statue I can move. That will only mean one thing. Pressure pad. Ah, you bastard. Oh, wait. Those aren't the statues you can pull on their tongues. That comes out later. Okay, nothing here. Except wasting my time. How about this way? There's a switch, but... I cannot trigger it. Wait a minute. You know that pressure pad that I pressed like a few seconds ago? Apparently that opens two doors instead of one. And I just went to the wrong one first. Oh, that's a lot more convenient rather than just using your sword. Just use a hook shot. Especially when they're electrocuted. Okay, that's where I need to go. I'm not gonna waste my time with you. There we go. Now that we drain the water, just for the hell of it, let's see what those other treasures were. Uh, what was down there anyway? Okay, da da da. Okay. My dad would have mattered, so. But let's go down that door anyway. I can always go back if I was wrong. Okay, money. And more money. Hey, that was it. Well, I could have got through that door anyway. Why'd I do that? Let's go down this door. Okay, there was nothing except for an enemy and some skulls. Okay, where am I supposed to go next? Damn it, leave me alone. Oh, another hidden treasure. Something tells me there's something hidden. Oh, wait, I don't want to do that yet. Uh, apparently, that's all I need to look for. There we go. Let's fill up on some health. Apparently, I'm getting close to the boss. I mean, I know I am. Swim! Key! Swim again! Get back up! Keep swimming, Michael Phelps! Get some weed! Yeah, I still can't believe that Michael Phelps was caught with a bong and... I mean, they are making a big deal of it, blowing out of proportion. Yes, he did let a lot of young kids down, but... Some people are blowing it out of proportion and making him look like he's this total pothead and... I mean, come on, he did pot like maybe one time and... Maybe that's the only time he did it, I don't know. I believe he's innocent until proven guilty. Even though I think he's a bit too overrated, even though he did win 8 gold medals. Anyways, enough Olympic talk. Let's take on this boss. Apparently, this guy has an over-obsession with popcorn chicken, and I gotta take him out. And that's some really fucked up popcorn chicken. I wonder what's going on with those 11 herbs and spices. Apparently, when you bring those 11 herbs and spices around monsters, they turn into monsters themselves. I should've known KFC was up to something. They always are. Should've went to Wendy's! Ha 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 ha! Oh, 
Oh, damn it. I got a pack of this popcorn chicken again. There we go. Now the main boss is exposed. He's just gonna swim around diagonally, so you gotta make sure you hit him every time. He'll die eventually. Don't worry. It's not a long battle. God damn it. How, how does that even hurt you? Like, he's jumping in the air! So much for isometric gameplay. That was really, really fucked up. You screwed up there, Nintendo! Apparently they don't know the meaning of the word isometrics. But nonetheless, at least we got the second crystal. Time for some more blah 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 time! Blah blah blah, blah. Triforce will grant the wishes of whoever touches it, as long as that person lives. That is why it was hidden in the Golden Land. Only select few know of its location. But at some point, that knowledge was lost. The person who rediscovered the Golden Land was Ganondorf, the evil thief. Luckily, he couldn't figure out how to return to the Light World. Well, remember that you have magical powers, which only the hero can make the most of. There are some other magical warping points like the one you saw on Death Mountain. By using them, you can go between the two worlds and find the evils hidden in the Dark World. You are the only one who can destroy Ganondorf, the thief. No, Ganon, the evil king of darkness. Uh, make up your mind, bitch. Yeah, I understand. Just because I want you to shut your mouth and leave me alone. That's the only reason I said it. No, seriously, it is. I hate blah 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 time. Okay, that's two crystals down and five to go. Okay, that's where the other five are. Gotta go to this place and then to the village. Into the ice cave, the swamp, and finally Death Mountain. Or basically Turtle Rock, that's the name of the lair. But at least we know where we need to go, right? Which is good. Before we do that, let's get ourselves a flute. After wandering in this world, I turn it to this shape. I enjoy playing the flute in the original world. Small grove of many animals gathered. I want to see the place again. Okay, you buried your flute underneath some flower seeds. Okay. And I gotta use a shovel to dig it out. Now don't be fooled. You cannot dig it out in the dark world. You have to do it in the light world. So, let's do it now. Found it! Turkey! There we go. Now let's actually use that flute. Oh wait, I have to talk to him first. Yeah, blah blah blah, and he turns it to a stump. Apparently that flute has the power to transform people. Well, not really, just him, so whatever. Now that flute is going to be really important, and you're going to find out why later in a minute. Once I actually get to the village in the Dark World, which is now known as the City of Thieves, or the Town of Thieves... Oh wait, actually you can do this in the Light World! What am I talking about? Let's do that first. We'll come back here later. Let's get through all this. Leave me alone, you stupid bee! Okay, I'm getting ass raped over here by a bread soldier. And I'm low on health. Okay, the place we need to go is right over... Ah, there it is. Right there, right next to the weather vane. Play the flute. And all of a sudden, a bird comes out. Why? You just saved my life! I'm gonna repay you someday! And he will repay you. From now on, when you blow your flute in the light world, that bird will take you to eight designated areas. It'll save up on a lot of trans 
a lot of traveling, trust me. Okay, here's what we needed to do before. Now I can use a hammer and we go down this hole. Uh, nothing here except for one ruby. You know what? I'm going to stop right here. I think that's enough progress for now, so stay tuned for the next part. See ya!